What's happening people? I'm out and about again. You've seen the thumbnail and the title, you know we're going back to Weatherspoons. But before we do that, I want to thank everyone who uh, got behind the Blackpool videos, absolutely incredible. I will be back, my trip did get cut short because I can't hand on my beer <laughs> and I went out on the, on the, on the, on the night and yeah, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't film anything the day after. However, today we're going to Weatherspoons. Now I know I've done a few Weatherspoons in the last few weeks but they've got something new on the menu and i went and tried the fiesta brunch and it was fantastic so they've got like a kebab on the on the menu now uh, a, a shawarma a chicken shawarma so i am looking forward to that so that's what we're going doing today i'm here in brick house and we're going to what's it called the richard ostler it's just around this corner i've just come off the canal um we saw some white ducks which is quite rare uh, mrs dino with me but she's just nipped a super drug before we go in so yeah so not too much messing about today we're just going to get straight in there it's just around this corner we're in brig house we'll give it a go there was a choice between this chicken shawarma and there was some uh, ramen noodles bowl which i'm just going to go for the chicken shawarma wrap that's what we're going to do so here we are now let's get into it Okay, so we have gone for the chicken shawarma um, with chips. It was £5.70 with a drink, but with uh, without any chips. You can choose chips, Mexican salad, um, tomato soup, Italian tomato soup, or chips. I just went, or a side salad. Um, Mexican rice, sorry, and I just chose chips. That cost £1.44 extra. So six, seven pound fourteen. £7.14 for shawarma wrap, shawarma chicken wrap, three spice rating, um, with chips and a drink. I got a orange juice and lemonade, fantastic refreshing drink. And Mrs. Dino has gone for a small all day brunch, which is in the currently in the afternoon deals because it's two till five Monday to Friday. That's costing £6.91 and that's with a Pepsi. So, we'll order that. I've 13 pound 23 total modern on the app of course as always and i'll bring you back when the food's arrived okay the food has arrived have a gander at this First thing I will say is not a lot of chips there for £1.44 worth of chips. Imagine this plate if I would have um, not ordered, not added the chips on. The wrap would have come like that and it would have cost £5. Let me just double check. It would have cost £5.70 with a, with a fresh orange and lemonade and it would have just literally been that wrap. I'm a bit shocked that they're, they're charging £1.44 extra for chips or side salad or Mexican rice so in this thing we've got it's a three spice rating 719 calories chicken thigh Middle Eastern spices naga chili and garlic and herb sauces tomato onion rocket and fresh mint that's what's in it so let's open it up and have a look So as you can see in this thing we've got some chicken, some little pieces of tomato cut up, rocket, mint, the garlic and herb sauce looks good, doesn't look like it's going to be too chill, um, too much naga chilli so that's good for me. 
these the wrap is soft in places and hard in places which means that it's been sat there it's a bit crunchy on the outside it's a bit stale um, initially I thought that this was a nicely like char grilled but I feel like this has been bought with these char grilled lines on it you can get um, you can get these wraps in the supermarket I can't remember what brand they're called but you can get them with the um, with the, the, the stripes already on them we'll give it a go anyway we'll go for the, the side but I didn't mess up there and deconstruct let's give it a go it's lukewarm but it is spicy straight away I can feel it on my tongue as you know I'm a bit of a spice wash dude quite a bit of chicken in there to be honest <laughs> garlic and herb sauce is lost in there. There's too there's too many spices in there for the garlic and herb sauce. So I'm going to add a bit of mayonnaise to cool it down a little bit. You know what, visually it's not great, but it tastes actually quite good. The chicken's nice, the spices are a little bit too spicy for me. But overall, that's not a bad wrap. They do do a small version um, for three pound and eight pence, just on its own. <clears throat> the heat's definitely <coughs> getting to me. The Naga chilies. I didn't really see you. Chilies. But they're definitely in there. Unless I'm just a real boss and um, it's the Middle Eastern spices. We've got some chips. Really nice chips. Just not enough of them. When you're paying for extra. But look at that. Really nice fried chips. Crunchy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, just how you want them. Just not enough. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to do my best to finish this other half of this wrap. And we'll give it a score out of 10 outside. This half is just a bit stale, the bottom of the wrap. Bit strange because that other side was okay. Hmm. Anyway. Well, I managed to finish it. What did you guys think to that? I think the wrap on its own is a bit. It's a bit pricey, if I'm honest. I think for pay, if you're paying one pound forty-four with a bunch of chips, you want more than that, don't you? It's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys will let me know in your your opinion. I think score out of 10, I'd have to give it a, oh, let's go 7 out of 10. It, it was okay. Probably a little bit too spicy for me, but if you like your spice, you'll like it. It was only three chilli ratings, but it was a bit too spicy for me. I managed it um, with the help of a bit of mayonnaise, but I think if I had to choose, I'd get a different one. They do have an all-day, like a small brunch wrap as well which is the same price so maybe that's something to do in the future but it's like the same price as a breakfast so why not just get the breakfast or the brunch 
There is one other thing on the menu that I haven't tried, the new products, and it is a ramen bowl. And it's got all sorts of like bean sprouts and things like that in. That might be interesting. I've never had a, a, an actual ramen bowl. And I know it's not gonna be an actual ramen bowl per se, but the uh, Weatherspoons version. And they've also got some like Nando's knockoffs as well. Lemon and herb chicken as well. I, that would be my go-to at Nando's, lemon and herb chicken. If you've had any of them, let me know in the comments. If you want me to go back and try the, um, the ramen bowl or the, the Nando's knockoff, I will do. I was hoping to uh, sit in the beer garden today, actually, but it was absolutely packed out. Tuesday, 2 p.m., packed out. Weatherspoons is always busy, isn't it? I know it's not everyone's taste, and I've done a few Weatherspoons in the, in the last few months, but it's one of them that it's, it's available all over the country, so it appeals to everybody. Everybody can, if I do too many where it's just around my local area, unless you're from around here, it's a bit, you've got no, nothing to compare it and you, you can't give me your opinions on it or anything like that, apart from on, obviously, what you see on the screen. Having said that, that'll probably be the last Weatherspoons for a while. So if I do do the ramen bowl, it'll be in a, a couple of weeks. Um, I'm gonna go on another trip soon as well. My Blackpool one got cut short, but I hope you did enjoy all them videos. And I'll, uh, thanks for watching this. On the road to 13,000 uh, subscribers now, so make sure you've subscribed to the channel if you haven't. Uh, yeah, and thanks for watching, just a quick video today. Take care.